our let's very first it. category. Let's get yeah. into this. JT, let's dive right into our social media influencer of the year. Mike, this is an especially fun one, and I did forget to say everybody's name, and I'll take care of that in the future. My apologies. But our Social Media Influencer of the Year, this has been a very dynamic conversation because unfortunately, or fortunately, however you want to look at it, I do believe the term influencer has some negative connotation well, in yeah, this day and age. And I, I mean, I can understand it in one regard, but we work to kind of come up with an alternative word, and there's really nothing better to describe it. And I think that it's one of those things that can be viewed in a positive light or in a, in a negative light. But these are the people that bring it on social media. There's no um, no wondering why this was probably the most talked about award that we had. It's kind of crazy because everybody was trying to identify their own definition, right? Everybody was trying to, uh, hey, what does influencer mean to me? Or what does influencer mean to the world? Well, to us, I can tell you that the word influencer meant, to your point, people that bring the heat on social media, people that use the tools that are available to them to not only grow their brand, but elevate the status of the sport as a whole. This is something that we're, this could very well be the number one category because in this day and age here in 2022, where I believe something like TikTok and Instagram rule all, I can't really overstate the importance of being a social media influencer. And these men and women, Alex Laughlin, Alex Taylor, Leah Pruitt, Clay Milliken, these are these are people that are using the tools that are available to them to to better themselves and our sport. And we appreciate it. It means something to us, man. Uh, there was great debate about this one because almost every single one of these folks probably won. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we looked at all different kinds of metrics to, to determine this. Uh, and, and really, this was something probably our most hotly debated category. There were a few of these that were. Just as soon as we put the names down, we, we were able to make a decision. This one, this one was tough, but I really think in the end that uh, we, we chose someone that is probably having the largest impact and especially in 2021. And I think historically, when we look back at which racer has the, the most significant, what's the word, has painted the widest swath, mm -hmm. I think it would be, we would be hard pressed to find anyone who has done who has done more in that regard than this and, young and consistency too. Yeah, we talked absolutely. about that as well. It is so hard. How hard is it? That you're like, man, this is an awesome pick. I need to go, I need to post this. It, two hours later, you're still working on the caption. It is so hard <laughs> to be so um, consistent and dynamic with your social media. And that's something that we Great looked point. at as well. It, and it, it really is a challenge. And again, I want as to take my cast to all these day. nominees, but everybody who takes it seriously, and I'm sure all of you watching can relate. You'll see someone that goes hog wild posting on their social media for like three days, maybe five days or whatever. And then it this guy. vanishes <laughs> because it's seriously it's hard, hard work. It's, hard. it's like a full-time job in this it day really and age. Is. JT, Let's let's put someone in the winner's circle right here and now. Roll the tape. There she is, Leah Pruitt. I, to be honest with you, I, again, I think we could have made an argument anyway. But when you think of all the branded posts, right behind the scenes stuff stories on Instagram, stories on Facebook, Q and A's, engaging with fans, replying to comments, mm -hmm. which is something that is kind of few and far between. Personally, I don't think we could have chosen someone better than the one and only top fuel superstar, Leah Pruitt. Let's go ahead and check in with her right now. JT, is she uh, available? Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Wes. And to everyone else involved, uh, it's just quite an achievement. Um, we save all the things like tuning of race cars and building of race cars for the smart people. 
<laughs> and uh, and I, I am very honored. Um, I've spent a lot of time and effort with a lot of great people uh, doing what we've done in the last year. And so to be recognized by Drag, Drag Illustrated, Illustrated uh, for uh, influencing for within, within the, the motorsports community uh, and drag racing world with our partners. Um, you know, when you have brands like Dodge, Mopar, Power Brokers, CVDMD, Hoonigan, Heatwave, Proway, EV Racing Fuels, Dream Giveaway, Sparkling Ice, Plus Spike, Caffeine, you have so many brands that you love what they stand for, what they do, what they taste like, how fast they go. It makes it easy to, uh, to represent them. What do you think it is? I mean, when you look around, I know that social media content gathering in this day and age, Leah, it's not something that you do by yourself, right? I'm sure Tony Stewart and his iPhone have captured a whole lot of stuff, but I know there's been a lot of people that you point to as people that have helped make this presence on social media possible. But really, like Mark Rebellis and uh, and I really have to throw it out to True Speed Communications, uh, a company that I teamed up with this year to really help me get the content out and share the messages that I had while racing. So it was very much a team effort. <laughs> It's been amazing to watch this whole thing unfold. Uh, we feel lucky here at Drag Illustrated that we've we've got a, we've had a front row seat to the the Leah experience. Uh, your early nit nostalgia nitro funny car days, diving into pro mod and then into fuel racing. It's amazing to have seen it up close and personal. And we couldn't be happier for you, nor more proud of you for all that you've accomplished in our sport. And I genuinely can't wait to see what you have next. I, uh, what you do next. 2022 may, uh, may just be your year. Well, I, I sure hope so. You know, you have a lot of other great awards out there, like the racer award. That's the, uh, that's the pivotal one, right? That, and that's the one that everyone wants. So as got our foundation and influencership, uh, but really what's on track is what, or where my eyes are at this year. So as we keep going, but a huge thank you to the fans that have stayed with us, uh, with this program, with me and continue to go forward, keep tagging, liking, posting, commenting, all the things, and we'll keep reposting them and keeping this thing going. And I just want to say thank you again, Wes, for the appreciation. Thank you, Leah. What do we got to do to get, I want Leah to share this right now. Yeah. I mean, we've got to get so that's the whole thing. You heard it right there. It takes everybody sharing this stuff, helping us spread the gospel of drag racing. One category done, buddy. And it's time to dive into the next one. We can talk.